Don't make us who we are So I'll dream until I make it real And all I see is Good morning guys Welcome back to Vanny with Ada's channel I just wanted to give you some good news I received my last item that I needed for camping, okay, boondocking and all of that. So I received it over the weekend, and it was the last item that I was uh, waiting for. Finally got it. I Hopefully soon I'll have my van, and Evaluated will be out, so stay tuned for that one. Um, just wanted to give you the heads up. And also heads up, keep cash in hand, guys, because uh, New Jersey uh, debit card ATMs and all of that. Uh, malfunctioning and um, they're like they go down at a certain times of days or hour or whatnot when you're out there shopping so make sure you keep cash in hand guys okay at all times to be on the safe side and continue your preps guys okay catch the sales go to the Dollar Trees early catch a sale if you know of an elderly person in your neighborhood I will you know I will I'll suggest um, to keep, you know, eye on them, uh, ask them if they need anything from the store while you go out there shopping, you know, let's all be mindful of the elderly that they cannot get around like we can, I mean, sometimes I can't barely get around, but I do, <laughs> I gotta do what you gotta do, right guys, so keep an eye for them if you have, you know, in your neighborhood, elderlies, please, you know, all you gotta do is, um, uh, ask them, you know, do you need anything from the store? Can I bring you something back? You know, you don't have to expect the money back. It's a loaf of bread or a pack of eggs. I know it's expensive, but you know what? God will always look out for you, and but you got to look out for yourself also. So, um, everyone have a great day. I hope you had a great weekend. I had a great time uh, watching my uh, uh, channels that I'm subscribed to. Um, they really have some good words there this weekend. And I appreciate every single one of y'all. Y'all know who uh, who I am. <laughs> so I just wanted to give you the heads up, guys. I will be uh, working on my um, water setup, okay, and um, elevating of the the bed. I have some um, bed risers um, made for those cots. That was an item that I was uh, expecting, and you know, my stuff you really want comes on the weekend. So sometime during the week, I'll be working on it little by little, and having it set so when. The keys get turned over back to me. I will be so out. Okay, guys. So I just wanted to share that with you. And um, don't forget to um, continue to prep as you can. Okay. No stress. No nothing like that. Okay. So today I have a doctor's appointment. Again, I don't understand why. I just saw him. I think it was last month. Um, unless they made a mistake or something. I know I had it at the end of the month, but I didn't think it was today. So they sent me, and they always give me notification. But guess what? Somebody on f up. Because they scheduled me at 2 o'clock to the office that is about 2 hours from here. When there's an office right here. So, and that's the one I normally go to. So, I don't care. I'm just going to show up over there, and one of them doctors are going to see me. And give me my refills. <laughs> and give me my refills. And that's all I want is my refill. Leave me alone. Don't try to invent with me. There's a new doctor there. She just likes to for you to do this, get that done. I already had all that done. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Or, or I will request my primary and not a nurse practitioner. Because they love to uh, put you in all kinds. You know, send you here for this, send you there for that. I already had all that done. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> That's what nurse petitioners do. So, uh, she's a nice lady, but she gets on my damn nerves, too. So, I will t be taking a six-mile walk, guys, downtown. Um, so, I'll be getting my exercise. Not that I don't get it, because I do go out and move around and walk around and whatnot. And get my little bit of sun when it's out. It was raining this weekend, guys, in New Jersey, so it wasn't much I could do. But relax and chill. So, I had a relaxing weekend. Cleaning, you know, disinfecting, wiping stuff, you know, just staying busy. Because that's exercise too. And um, and that's about it, guys. So, I will catch you guys on my next video. And um, I will be uh, doing some uh, accommodating a backpack that I received also, okay? Uh, it's like a hiking bag, but it's very light. I am going to test it out. And I will show you guys in the video down the line. So, guys, um, a lot of things are going on.
Be careful out there. Be careful when you go shopping. Don't leave your doors open. Um, secure your doors at night, okay? Listen, I put a, uh, uh, what do you call those little bells they have, like church bells or something like that. They sell them at the Dollar Tree. Put time, time around your doorknob. That way, if anybody tries to mess with your door, you can hear that stuff jingling from inside. I always done that <laughs> for no reason. And look, it comes in handy right now. So that's another tip right there, guys. Okay, just so you know, somebody messing with your door, they're gonna try to push your door or, or some play my fumble with your door. You're gonna hear those jingle bells, okay, jingling, jingling. So you know somebody by the door or messing with your doorknob. So that's another good tip there. So have something, have a bat, have something at home if you have to. You know, just I hope we don't need it. You know, sometimes um things just get to the extreme, but it's good to have. Okay, it's good to have because you never know. And um, keep your, leave a TV on when you go out. My TV goes, uh, stays on when I go out. Um, or my scanner, I'll leave it on, okay? If I am gonna know I'm going to be out late and it's going to get dark, I can always turn my lights on from my phone. But if I did not have that app, you know you're coming home a little bit late, you know it's going to be dark by the time, leave a light on. Leave a light on so that it can, you know, you can see some some type of lighting inside from, you know, from, from far away. So, leave something on in your house making noise so that people think you're home. Even if you're not home and don't tell nobody. You just do what you got to do and keep going, okay? They'll see you go out, but they don't know if somebody else stayed. All right, guys? So, that's a quick tip there for you. And um, this week, I'm going to try to make bread. What do you say, guys? You want to see if anyone had to make bread? Because I am going to make bread when I go camping. Oh, yeah. Okay. I seen a video yesterday. I had so much fun with it. Um, he made he made bread and made, wow, so many things out of the, the dough that he had made. Okay. One of, the, one of the channels that I started following. So I've been watching a lot of uh, recipes and, um, and food channels where they make stuff. Okay. And that way it gives you like a variety of things to make. Instead of boring yourself out with so much pasta and sauce, seems like everybody's shopping for pasta and sauces. How much pasta and sauces can you have? I couldn't live. I could not survive on that. I mean, yes, you could survive on that, but it's good to have a variety. A variety of different foods that you can make, okay, on a weekly basis, whenever you decide to cook, okay? I barely cook because it's just me home all alone. So my meals are very quick. So guys, hope you enjoyed your weekend. Hope everyone's doing okay. One day at a time. And I will catch you on my next video. And I will show you. Um, hopefully I'll be out there camping. Alright guys, so I'm getting prepared. I received my last item. That's all I need. Remember, I lost everything I had. And I had to replace everything little by little. Everything could not be done in one shot. Everything is money and the preps is more important than getting all your gear together. So like I said, everything has a timing. And um, But I am glad to share with you on my, you know, sometimes I come online and, and, um, and let you know, you know, be here and share with you just like y'all share with me. And learning. From others and to putting it to the test and you know it's a lot of fun so we have to have a, a little bit of joy and fun in our lives besides you know the um, the prepping and all of that stuff yes yes we have to do it but also take time for yourself take 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 the day off take two days off and say you know what I'm just gonna live a normal life forget about that the pandemic is on forget about that the food is scarce Let's forget about all this. Let's go out and have a good time. Go out to the park. Go do a picnic somewhere. A barbecue at your home. And just live a normal day. And that's how we're going to get through this. Okay, guys? I am very sure that something will come up that it will make our life a little better, easier, and a little bit of more normality to all this mess that we're going through, guys. So, hope y'all had a good weekend. And, um... I'm glad to have all of you in my channel, and I also have channels that I am subscribed to. I am so happy that I have them because they bring joy 
and um, a smile to my face and a better view, okay, of of things out there that it's their topics and I listen and I learn a lot and it helped me to get through the days without getting anxious, worried, okay, but prep as you can what you use, what you will use, and it's time to become a gray woman or a gray man, okay? Don't tell anyone what you're doing, and just do what you have to do, and make sure you have a hiding place in the home somewhere, and hide your stuff, okay? Um, and that's about it, guys. That's all I can think of right now. I have a six-mile walk today. Woohoo! That's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> I have a doctor's appointment to get my refills. So, I'm going to get uh, ready for that. Get my six-mile um, walk. I'm going to stop at the taco Mexican place up here, is it? Or whatever the heck it is. But they make some banging tacos. So, before I come home, I am going to treat my day today to a couple of those nice hot, hot, because I, like I like hot sauce. And they give it to you separately, so you pour whatever you want. And that cilantro, lots of cilantro on top of it, and onions, and oh my goodness, I'm going to have a good time. So guys, <laughs> I will be busy today, running errands. And once I hit the street, I don't have a timing to come back. So that is off the time day is today. <laughs> so guys, Miss B will be here by herself. But she'll be fine because she's going to have her ice cube in the water. Apartment is nice and cool. Remember, if you have pets, guys, stock up on their pet stuff. Get a grooming kit. I got a grooming kit for my, my Miss B. Um, I see how they used to do the grooming for her. I save money by, all I do is take her for shots and get check up if something, you know, whatever. But um, I have a grooming kit and I bought this other... Um, vest looking thing what they use at the grooming places to do their nails okay so yeah bella has to have her nails done so i'm going to be working on that and i will take you along with me i will show you what i'll be doing with her or what she'll be doing with me <laughs> so yeah guys but prep for your pets if you use your pet as a mental um what do you call it like uh kind of keep you busy person speak to your doctor and they will give you a letter stating that they do recommend that you have a pet, okay? Because uh, I heard that landlords are charging now for having pets. Just like in Florida, my son pays $500 a year or $50 a month on top of his rent to have a pet. So his pet is an emotional support, um, emotional support something, EM something. Uh, because he is a uh, military. Um, well, he already did his time and whatnot. But um, he got a letter from his doctor at the VA. And um, he doesn't have to pay a dime for his pet ever. So that's another suggestion there, guys. Speak to your doctor. Tell him, you know what, I have a little pet and it does me good. It keeps me busy. But mine does. Mine makes me uh, forget about a whole lot of stuff, okay? Um, actually being on the pool table will actually do good, but since I don't, I can't go out there to play, well I can, but I don't want to, um, for tournaments, um, she is the really busy thing that I have in here that'll keep me busy, so, don't, that's a little tip right there guys, okay, just so your, your rent doesn't get jacked up because of an animal, because landlords are just trying everything in their power to raise your rent okay and they could do it at any moment and you can't say nothing about it so it hasn't happened to me i hope it doesn't because i have they have they have not renewed my lease so it could happen to me so it's happening okay it's happening with the animals so make sure that you get an advice from your doctor and it's just like a prescription note that's all all you need is a note in a prescription pad or a written note. If they decide to do it on a written letter, they can do it also on a written letter. Just something stating that 
they truly recommend your pet because it helps you with the stress and it's good company and it keeps you busy and whatnot right guys so i'm gonna see if my letter is ready because i have actually that letter like three three or four months ago and every time i go to the appointments i forget and if you don't ask they forget to so, <laughs> i'll see if i can come home with that letter today guys so thank you all for watching my video it's a short video guys short video i'm going to get ready now to hit the street and walk my six miles okay to the doctor's office i'm not catching no cab I ain't taking the bus. I am not calling for a ride, which I can, but no, I want to get my walk out there. So guys, enjoy the outdoors. Get some fresh air. Whatever it takes, guys. Relax. Okay. Do your thing, okay? And just one day at a time, guys. That's all we could do. It's just one day at a time. So just giving you the heads up that I received my last item. Um, it's not easy, you know, they say van life, oh, just grab a bag and this and that. No, no, it's not. It's more than that. And, um, to start off, you don't need much, but I am not a newbie. I am been doing it for years. So I know what I, what I need. And it takes time. When you lose everything you have, it takes time to recuperate everything that you had. So down to your bed. To your sofa, to your fridge, to your food, to your clothing, to everything. Okay, guys? Um, so, make sure your carbon monoxide detectors are working. Get extra batteries for that. Your fire um, alarms, get extra battery batteries for that. Make sure they are working. Okay? And let's just do what we got to do. One day at a time, guys. It's all one day at a time. All right, guys? So, thank you for joining me today, and um, I will catch you down the line with um, a little bit of something, okay? And I appreciate every single one of you for watching my videos, putting your likes, commenting is very important because I like to interact with people. You know, let me what you, tell me what are you thinking or what do you think, and I will answer to you. A lot of people take me the wrong way. Um, yeah, I lost a couple, uh, a subscriber or two. But you know what? Because they, they just don't understand. They don't understand other people. They think it's all about them, 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 them. And um, it's not like that. Or you're available 24-7. I made a big mistake. Um, um, no, I'm not available 24-7. I'm available as I am available. When you see me here, I am available. I have some free time. Otherwise, I am busy. I just mopped the whole apartment. I, I just cleaned the bathroom, everything, okay? Um, it's what I do. Though we, it was clean and whatnot, but it's what I do. I stay busy. I stay busy doing other things, and um, and people think that you have time in your hands for when they are back and call. No, it's not like that. So anyway, guys, you know, they mistook me, and um, it is what it is. So I hope to gain more subscribers there, and soon we're going to get on that road, and do what i like to do and what y'all want to see but meanwhile we just communicate any information guys that is important that i see out there i'll definitely let you know just like the debit card not working um the machines are down at times of days in certain states already it did happen to me so i told y'all right if i see something that is real i will tell you but if it's that i heard it through the tv I'm not going to tell you because I don't believe nothing the TV says. Nothing. They're only on there for rank for um, ranks. And, you know, all these anchors, they just, they just jump on top of each other to get a news. And they twist it all around and make it look awful just so they can get those rankings and whatnot. And you're not even getting the information, guys. Get the, you know, we have to get to the real source in order to give out information and i i am subscribed to a lot of um um subscribers that uh they they're on the money they're on the money with it some are not some are on the money okay and you can google it and you will find it but some of them state stuff that you google and it's not happening what are you talking about but yes so stay alert okay stay safe and remember don't tell people what you're doing. This is not the time to do that. I alerted people that I knew that I cared about two and a half years ago. 
They laughed at me. Now they're not laughing. Now they don't even know what to do. So, listen. I stay away from them now because I cannot mingle with them. I cannot be on the phone with them either. Because they're going to try to get to the point like, where is your stuff? My son picked it up and took it because I have no room in here. That's just what I said. Till this day, I have no phone call. My phone does not be ringing. Unless it's my kids calling me. So, guys, be safe out there. It's time to be the great woman or the great man and be safe. Watch your surroundings. If you go out shopping, go out with somebody and go out there alone. Or go out late at night. Make sure you're indoors late at night. Don't be carrying pocketbooks and stuff like that, you know, dangling over your shoulders, women. Um, get a pouch, a waist pouch. Put your money in your pockets. Wear something with pockets. Uh, listen, there's maize out there you could buy. I got, I got, I received a, a, um, a, a nice order of maize, okay? And though my daughter is armed, but she's not here all the time. So I have to find other means. So, yes, I do have my means. I got my booby traps. <laughs> I'm a New Yorker. I got booby traps. I'll be like home alone. <laughs> They'll have a feast. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're going to have a hard time. So, anyway, guys, I'm just trying to be safe because I live on a lower floor. That's all, guys. Okay? If my windows were higher, if I was on a first floor that you would have to climb over, I wouldn't even worry so much. But I live on a lower floor. So, that's that's... You know, that's nerve-wracking. I don't like lower floors, but it was what I could find at the time I had a disastrous situation. And it is what it is, okay, guys? So, I always say prayers and, um, and you know, go with my instincts and just do what I got to do. That's all. And and not crack my head with, 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 with stuff that's not even happening yet. But you, you have a little bit of uh, information. Use it to your best resource, okay? Take it to your best advantage, use it to your best resource, and just work with it. Okay, guys? So, you like my buddy? <laughs> I got a friend. <laughs> Moo. <laughs> all right, guys. Love you all. Lots of hugs to all of you, okay? Um, and I'm going to get ready now to do my six-mile walk. Are y'all getting your cardio? Huh? Are y'all getting your cardio? <laughs> all right, guys. Blessings to all of you, okay? Love all of you. Yeah, great. Yeah, great team. Okay. Yeah, yeah, awesome. Yeah, all super awesome. I just wish more of y'all would comment. And Ronnie, thank you. And and uh, Miss Miss Ruth, yes. And um, and all of you. Okay, guys. Can't think of the names on the top of my head now, which I do have on the top of my head. Y'all names, but sometimes they just don't come out. That's because I'm thinking I have to get ready and I start got to step rolling. It looks cloudy. It's supposed to be like ninety. I'm like ooh, but um. It looks cloudy, but it's not supposed to rain, not that I know of. So anyway, I don't believe the weatherman either. I've got, I've done things listening to the weather channel. Looking at the weather channel is the other way around. If it says it's rain, it's not going to rain. If it says it's going to be 90, it's going to be 70. So I just go with the flow. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Everybody have a blessed day, okay? And stay safe, please. And take care of your loved ones, all right? Make sure you check up on your loved ones that live with you or around you or whatnot. Check up on them. Make sure they're okay. And um, if you know of an elderly person in your area, ask them, you know, I'm going out. Do you need anything from the store? It could be a loaf of bread. You know, these older people, they don't really shop much. So what can they ask you for? Some eggs and a loaf of bread? That's not going to take a toll on your pocket. You know, so let's be good-hearted with our elders. Okay, with elderly people, because they can't get around like we do. I mean, I can't get around sometimes as it is. You know, sometimes I'm like, oh my goodness, I just can't even get out of the out of the the the, the couch or whatnot. But I force myself, and then I'm I warm up and I'm good to go. All right, guys. So think about the elderly around you. Okay, because I was looking at a video, and it saddened me to hear. That they have mentioned the same thing, you know. They, um, I don't even know what I forgot what they were talking about. But I did remember because you know I work with elders, I work with veterans, and they're defense. You know, they're defenseless. They're defenseless. And and this one person said, "What are you gonna do?" You know, told the the commenter, well, "What are you gonna do for them?" Well, it's not like you're gonna go out there and start banging and shooting and whatever. Whatever. We it was nowhere near that situation. You know, that conversation. 
it was if they need anything like to eat that's it you know a case of water or a gallon of water a loaf of bread maybe a, you know a, a dozen eggs um a couple of potatoes you know that's not gonna hurt your pocket to help someone else so if, if that if that hurts someone to do that i i mean they, they're heartless it's heartless people i i learn i listen i watch and there's a lot of heartless people now where they oh let me tell you stress is out there kicking on people behind a lot of people are so stressed that you can't say nothing to them because they snap they snap because of the chaos that's going on the food prices the gas prices yes so be careful out there guys don't get into any confrontations don't argue with anybody i'll keep you just keep to yourself you know because anything you'll say it offends people and you might catch yourself in the middle of a rut with something that you didn't even mean any harm to okay guys so people are we're seeing it already okay guys i am seeing it already all right guys the guy upstairs was so mad yesterday i never seen that guy mad i've been here for three and a half years i've never seen him mad he was so mad and i don't know what he was fighting uh with who he had to go cut somebody's hair and the fight was on the phone with somebody he dropped his uh, e-bike and that's a big e-bike it's heavy what he dropped it i was like holy i heard that boom bam 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 i looked at my camera that bike was stretched down i, was like, oh, I know he mad i know he mad now <laughs> listen i shut the camera off i went out the door i said i heard all that noise are you okay yeah, you know, okay, it's not, he picked up the bike, he was there fumbling with the bike for like half an hour, I don't know what else he did, because I just went on my business, okay, so be careful out there, because people are stressed out, okay.